Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ray Bogaski from Bradford Family Chiropractic. I want to go over five of the best exercises you can do for a winged scapula. Now a winged scapula is a scapula, it's a shoulder blade that's kind of protruding out of the back, causing maybe some anterior or some posterior shoulder pain. Um, one of the first things we want to do is we want to stretch out the serratus anterior and the pectoralis muscles. So one of the better stretches we're going to do is what we call a doorway stretch. We're going to point our arms and our elbows in the doorway, we're going to lean up, and we're going to just stretch out the chest or the pectoralis muscle. We're going to hold this for about 15 to 30 seconds just to open up that front cavity. Um, in essence, what we're trying to do is, is change the position from this to a postural alignment more in this regard. So loosening up the front is important. Our next component is going to be strengthening the back component. So we're going to go over one, two, three, four exercises. Easily done. One of the first exercises we're going to do is called the W. Okay? Uh, w, okay? We're going to do this on the table with our shoulders forming that W. So we're going to start off laying face down, elbows winged out at the side, and the exercise is pretty straightforward. We're just going to be pinching our shoulder blades together, raising our elbows off the table with a five second hold. One, two, three, four, five, and down. One, two, three, four, five, and down. One, two, three, four, five, and down. We're going to repeat that upwards of 10 times. Um, next exercise we're going to do, we're called Y's. And we're going to be forming a Y with our body. Thumbs up, and we're going to be raising our shoulders up. And we're going to hold that again for a five count, and we're going to repeat that 10 times. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. If we experience any neck pain doing this, we're going to make sure we're looking straight down, not extending our heads back. The last exercise we're going to do, it's what I call rocket man. So our arms are going behind us. And we're going to be lifting our arms off the table and holding that for a five count. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And again, we're repeating this ten times. One, two, three, four, five. The last exercise we're going to do is we're going to require getting down onto the floor. And we're going to show you right now it's an alteration of a push-up. It's called a push-up plus. We're not going to be doing the traditional uh, bending the elbows version of the push-up. This is all coming from the shoulder blade where our arms are going to be going back and forth. We're trying to strengthen that serratus anterior. So we're going to find ourselves in the push-up position, elbows down, and instead of bending the elbows like so, the elbows are neutral and we're coming down and up. This is called the push-up plus. Down and up. Down. And up. We're going to repeat this 10 times. Down and up. Again, those are five best exercises for winged scapula. Dr. Raymond Gasky at Bradford Family Chiropractic.